to our Saturday afternoon edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. We've got San Antonio and New Orleans. And it's going to be San Antonio off the tip. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Anthony out there with Porzingis. And there's Clay Thompson. And it's Mark Gasol. And it's Lillard in at the one. Now here's Anthony. Soft touch off the glass. Anthony's got his team on the board to start the game for San Antonio. Evans outside. Outside, Davis. Gordon with it. Lillard picks him up. Evans goes in. A sweet little floater. You know, obviously, he knows how to finish with some play. On defense, New Orleans. Lillard outside. Out to Anthony. Plenty of space. Good. Anthony's got his second basket of the game. I tell you what, guys. It's going to be a tough day on this defense if he's got the A game rolling tonight. Evans passes to Asha. And here is Pondexter. Gordon kicks to Asha. Gordon inside. Working on Thompson. And it's Gordon missing. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Singus passes to Gasol. Out to Thompson. Launches it. Good. And the assist goes to Gasol. Thompson's got his first three points of the game. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Evans with it. Outside, Davis. Davis sets a screen. Jumper off the screen. Again, the miss by Gordon. Thompson outside. Lillard left side. Shoots from the corner. The shot is off. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Evans kicks to Gordon. Screen by Ajik. Picked away. Get back, get back. Here's Lillard. The big dunk at the end of the break. And, folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. I'll tell you what. He may not be the biggest man in the league, guys, but he more than makes up for that lack of size with amazing aerial skills. San Antonio leading by seven. Now here's Anthony to the middle. Here's Persingas. Ashik pulls it in. New Orleans with the ball. Outside Gordon. Screen by Ashik. Gordon against Thompson. Davis up top. Lock at six. Ashik dishes to Pondexter. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Davis, a follow-up flush. No tip required when you've got room to make the stuff. Yeah, some powerful second-chance points right there. Yeah, and the guy's not wasting any time. Just straight back up with it. Now, here's Thompson. Stolen by Evans. And now, here comes Gordon leading the break. Here's Davis. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Anthony drives in. Ashik comes up with the rebound. Ashik's got three rebounds so far in the game. Gordon kicks to Davis. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. Six to shoot. Shot from 12. Rebound San Antonio. Here's Lillard. Outside Gasol. Lillard the pass to Carmelo. 
Gasol, a screen on Gordon. Anthony, and he goes in for the dunk. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. Here's Cole, defended by Chalmers. Holiday attacking, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. Both free throws good from Holiday. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Outside DeRozan. Hayward on the wing. The three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. Cole dishes to Holiday. Anderson kicks to Holiday. Teardrop shot. Rejected by Gasol. Fires top of the key. They get it back. A shot by Hayward. Wide open. And Pekovic kicks to Hayward. Three-pointer. That's good. Hayward's got a couple of threes now in the first for San Antonio. And good passing. Setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. I, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he was on the money. That's no doubt. And Cole kicks to Anderson. 11 feet away. No good trying to beat the bus. Ladies and gentlemen, the dance team. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. Guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for San Antonio? Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. On the floor for San Antonio, we've got Hayward. Pau Gasol is out there with Pekovic. Then it's DeRozan, and it's Chalmers in at the point guard. Now here's Hayward. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Hayward's got the lead up to nine now for San Antonio. Cole, the pass to Evans. They set the pick. Inside, here's Davis, and a strong finish with two hands. And a sturdy screen set for him that time, and he doesn't fool around, just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one, that's, that's for sure. No chance, Kevin. I mean, the screen was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through him, and that's not legal. How about that breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yes, indeed. Now here's Evans. Cunningham dishes it to Cole. Here's a Jinsa. Gets some rim on the way in. And the bucket's good. You know, as soon as he recognized the height mismatch, he immediately pulled up for the jump. And, Greg, that's just good basketball. Come on, good basketball there. Clean look from that range. He's got to take it. Some changes for New Orleans. Omer Asha, he's checked in for Alexis Aginsa. Luke Babbitt comes in for Dante Cunningham. And Gordon subbed in for Norris Cole. Now here's Anthony. He has six. On the wing, Thompson. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And it's Gordon missing. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Again, the miss by Thompson. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Evans kicks to Gordon. Back to Evans. Here's Hushik. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Taking two shots. 
No good on the second free throw. San Antonio leading by seven. Here's Anthony. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Davis sets a screen. Evans kicks to Davis. Davis setting the pick for Gordon. Back to Davis. Puts it up from 17, and he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Still trailing, but their offense is off life support here in the second quarter. It's got a pulse. Good point, Clark. They're starting to make some shots, looking to try and get back in this play. Now, here's Lillard. To the paint, out to Anthony. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. This is all a screen. It's Anthony with the drive. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Quincy Pondexter is checked in for Luke Babbitt. San Antonio shooting their first free throw of the game. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Evans kicks to Davis. Outside Gordon. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. Now Gordon after the missed three by Carmelo. Gordon with it. Lillard picks him up. Gordon kicks to Ashik. Feeds to Evans. Here's the screen. Here's the pass to Davis. Screen by Ashik. And Davis can't get it to go. Usually if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Here's Evans following the score by Damian Lillard. Davis the pass to Gordon. Lillard against Evans. Now Pondexter. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. They get it back. And again, no good by New Orleans. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. Here's Porzingis, and he banks in the layup. Porzingis has got his first two points. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And look, rightfully disappointed with how they played here over the course of this run. Yeah, you know, they haven't looked good at all here lately. Something has to change for him, and we'll see what he's got coming out of the timeout. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Alexis Aginsa has checked in for Ash. Anderson comes in for Davis. And it's Holiday in for Tyreek Evans. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Now here's Hayward. He's got eight. It's a pick by Love. Hayward kicks to Kobe. Let's it fly from 18. Shoots a fader, and Hayward gets it to go on the assist by Bryant. Hayward's got the lead up to 13 now for San Antonio. Holiday dishes to Pondexter. Gordon against Kobe. Gordon kicks to Anderson. Hands it from downtown. Anderson's got himself on the board with three there. You know, what an advantage he brings to this offense, guys. I mean, being able to drain the three ball, that really can spread a defense and extend the defense as well. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Outside for Kobe. Off target from outside. And here's New Orleans now. Trailing by 10. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. And 
finished off by Gasol. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to the clock runs out. And now the third quarter. About to get going. Looking at the game for Hayward. Ten points. And he's got two baskets from out in three-point land. <laughs> and I'm sure they'd like to get a few more of those out of Got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Fueled Up for the second hand. So for New Orleans right now, Patrick Evans out there with Gordon. Then there's Quincy Pondexter. Then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Ashik in at the center filling out the middle. And Lillard kicks to Anthony. Gasol is screen on Evans. Down low. Deflects the pass. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Evans. Risky pass in a situation like that. Very lucky that wasn't a steal. Fortunate to get it through. I thought he was headed the other way with that one. It's Thompson off the drive. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Evans passes to Davis. Shot by Gordon, wide open. And that one falls, coming off of Davis's speed. Gordon's got five. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there. He's not the guy you want to leave open on the perimeter. You've got to stay attached to him. Lillard dishes to Carmelo. There's a good screen. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. This is his first free throw of the game. And both free throws good for Anthony. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Pass to Davis. Here's Pondexter. Here's Hushik. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, he wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. Cunningham, he's checked in for Quincy Pondexter. San Antonio calls timeout. San Antonio leading by four. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Here's Persingas. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. Alert against Evans. On the wing, Eric Gordon. That's it go from 11. And the shot no good, a bit short. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. The deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. Six to shoot. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Cole's checked in for New Orleans. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for San Antonio. Anthony kicks to Thompson. Can't connect from short range. New Orleans trails by eight. The dish to Davis. The feed now to Cole. Davis sets a screen. And Cole kicks to Evans. Passes it to Davis. The basket good off the assist from Evans. And 11 points for Davis. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. Lillard the pass to Anthony. Here is Lillard. He kicks it to Gasol. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, got to be able to get some hang time to do that. Yeah, you got to rise and Sus levitate. Suspend yourself. <laughs> yeah, levitate. <laughs> Almost, how, about, how about the glide in and then also to reverse it? Evans against Thompson. Ashik with a screen on Thompson. 
Evans kicks to Ashik, and Gasol sends it back. And they're able to recover. They recover it. Cunningham dishes it to Davis. Pass to Cunningham. Kicks it to Cole from past the arc. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Man, that is not an easy shot right there. I mean, he had to get it off over a much taller defender. Yeah, he needed to add just a little more loft on that one because of the size mismatch, and he did it perfectly. There's the steal. 144 left to play in the third. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Damian Lillard. That is his first foul of the game. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Alexis Aginsa has checked in for Ash. Anderson comes in for Davis. Luke Babbitt, he's checked in for Cunningham. And it's Drew Holiday in for Tyreek Evans. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Nikola Pekovic is checked in for Gasol. Gasol comes in for Anthony. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Chalmers in for Lillard. Babbitt kicks to Ajinsa. Cole, the pass to Anderson. Parked down low that time, and he got the three seconds. Williams, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. San Antonio leading by five. This is to Gasol. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. New Orleans making a switch here. Hondexer's checked in. And Holiday kicks to Ajinsa. There's a minute left in the third quarter of the game. Feeds it to Anderson. Some solid defense from Gasol. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Here's Hayward. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw a tap over the top. But instead, he'll shoot free throws. That one is on Holiday. For San Antonio, they've been all four of their chances so far in this one. Hayward hits them both. 46 seconds left to play here on the third. And Holiday kicks to Ajinsi. Outside Holiday. He dishes it to Anderson. And shot opportunity. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. New Orleans shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Gordon's checked in for New Orleans. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Rosingas has checked in. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Gasol, a screen on Holiday. The pass to Persingas. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard, Clark. Yes, sir. Bringing it down hard, yes, sir. My yes, sir. <laughs> Symbolic there as well of the effort here tonight. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. And the final period of play just about to start. So it's San Antonio now. 13 points was their biggest lead. Look at oh, that jam. Wow. I mean, just beautiful. Sublime stuff, guys. <laughs> Absolutely sublime. Clark, he's going to start putting on a show now. <laughs> and, and that's usually how it goes. Once they get that lead, it's almost like they give him free reign. And that replay is sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. On the wing, Thompson. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. And San Antonio leads by 14. He hasn't really done much on the offensive end, but he's worked within the team concept to help them get the lead. He's done some other things other than scoring to help his team get the lead here. Gordon for three, and he gets it to go. You know, they've got to be careful not to give a shooter of this caliber open looks like that. One or two of those are all it takes to really get him going. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. 
You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, it's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. Davis playing very well. He has 11 points. He's made some good decisions with the basketball, too. And being smart with the ball like he's been today, Clark, I, I think it's critical for him and them. He should repeat that every game. Luke Babbitt, he's checked in for Quincy Pondexter. They set the pick. And Lillard kicks to Thompson. No good on the triple. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Ashik dishes to Evans. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. San Antonio calls timeout, and let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team. He was absolutely adamant, saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. Here's Przingis. He's guarded by Davis. Zingas can't hit. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. Pass to Bambin for three. The offensive rebound, a chic, and with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. They've gotten some good second chances here in the second half, and, and that kind of extra effort will go a long way into cutting into this deficit. Gasol a screen. Anthony drives in. Gasol passes to Persingas. That's good. And San Antonio leads by 11. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Timeout. 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 Start it. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. You know, he just, like every other coach, can't stand when the defense gives up points on the inside. And boy, are they struggling in there. Yeah, well, they're getting pummeled in there. So you've got to figure out a way to make some adjustments to try to change that around. And that's why he needed the timeout. And it's Gordon missing. It's not winning basketball when you're attempting shots like that. Yeah, come on now. you got to remember, it's a team game. He's got four teammates out there with him. I don't think he needs to try to do it all by himself like that. He has really shot the ball extremely well, as you'd expect. Like we say, he's been making sweet string music all day long. I shake the screen for Gordon. It's good, and the San Antonio lead has been down to 11 on the bucket from Davis. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Mello having a terrific game. He's got 14 points, and he's blocked a shot today as well. And he's clearly showing off his smarts in a few ways today. That block just being one of them. Just a savvy, savvy basketball player. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for New Orleans. 11 feet away. That doesn't go either for Davis. It's an unusual, surprising miss for him. Typically, he's good on those inside. And Damian Lillard with the jam. Uh, and that's really the change in our game. It's the overall athletic ability. I love those point guards that can throw it down. Well, you've talked about that. That's a dose of the modern NBA, Greg. That, that, that kind of aerial ability isn't limited now to just the front court anymore. That's exactly right. You know, I look at it this way, guys. It seems to me there are more high flyers at guard than anywhere else in the league these days. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Przingis, good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got four assists in the game. Evans against Lillard. Evans kicks to Ashik. Got a hand on it. And that's out of bounds. New Orleans will retain possession. San Antonio making a switch here. Chalmers has checked in. Mario Chalmers. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter. San Antonio leading by 18. Pulls up from the corner. And another basket for San Antonio. 
And really, I like the fact that even with the big lead, they never coasted. To me, that's a sign of a really good team, Greg, because you should always be playing against the game and yourself. I know there's an opponent out there, but when you have a lead, it's all about continuing to execute. Do what you do and stay true to that. And I like that aggressiveness and full speed ahead kind of attack that they have. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Nikola Pekovic is checked in for Gasol. Love comes in for Persingas. Ryan is checked in for Anthony. And it's Williams in for Clay Thompson. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for San Antonio. But Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out to part of this, this kind of punishment. Team. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. They kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. I mean, when you look at the stats, you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Carmelo Anthony. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth. And Holiday kicks to Ajinsa. Williams against Holiday. Now the dish to Cole. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. Chalmers passes to Love. Back to Chalmers. In the corner, it's Pekovic. San Antonio again missing. Holiday against Chalmers. Here's Anderson. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And they're on the kind of run that could have made a difference had it just started a little earlier. Yeah, but I think the only reason they're on this run is because the defense has relaxed a little bit, knowing the game is basically in the bag. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they control...